mental arithmetic. Today we will learn how to solve every question without the help of a paper and pen and how we solve them in the snap of a finger. Vandana is going to buy vegetables all by herself from the market today. She has created the list of all the vegetables she has to buy. She has reached the vegetable shop and has bought all the vegetables written on the list. Now she has to pay the vegetable seller. She asked the vegetable seller how much money all these vegetables were and he immediately told that all the vegetables were worth 67 rupees. Vandana is surprised to see the vegetable seller calculating so quickly. She asks that uncle. Uncle, how did you calculate so quickly without any paper and pen? The vegetable uncle told Vandana that if she learns the tables well, she can also find the total value of these vegetables very easily without using a paper and a pen. The vegetable uncle further told her that initially he also used to take time to calculate. But now after a lot of practice, he is able to do it very quickly. Vandana is thinking because she knows the tables and knows how to multiply and divide as well. She is wondering if she can also find the cost of these vegetables without using a paper and pen. Well, let me calculate the cost of these vegetables without a paper and pen. You can also try doing it with me. I have bought a kilo of rich guard. The price of a rich guard is 30 rupees a kilo. Hence, I have to pay 30 rupees for the rich guard. I have also bought half a kilo of tomatoes. And the price of tomatoes is 20 rupees a kilo. This means that to know the cost of half kg of tomatoes, I have to divide 20 by 2. Two tens are twenty, which means ten rupees is the cost of half kg's tomatoes. Rich guard and tomato cost forty rupees. Potatoes are nine rupees a kilo, and I have bought two kilos of potatoes. To find the cost of two kilos of potatoes, I have to multiply nine by two. Nine twos are eighteen. That is, I have to pay eighteen rupees for potato. I will also add this to the price of rich card and tomato. And the answer is 58 rupees. Brinjal costs 36 rupees a kilo. What do I have to do to find the price of 250 gram brinjal? Can you try and tell me please? See, 250 grams is a quarter of a kilo. So, to find the value of 250 grams of brinjal, we have to divide the price of a kilo of brinjal by 4. It means 36 divided by 4. 4 nines are 36. It means the price of 250 grams brinjal is 9 rupees. Now I will add 9 rupees to 58 rupees. The answer will be 67 rupees. This means all these vegetables are worth 67 rupees. Oh wow! I too calculated the total price of all vegetables without a paper and a pen. Now I understand how remembering multiplication tables and knowing multiplication and division make calculations easier. Vandana is happy. She has understood Calculations can be done without a paper and pen. And now she just needs to practice. You can also try solving such math related questions without a paper and a pen.